Round number seven. Here we go. We got a two. We have a six. Oh, interesting. Took away the cheapest building. Uh, we have a two, so we need a two plus to grab a settler card. Huh. Two or less to grab a building. That could be a problem because we need a building. A two is going to block that building. Three, four, five is going to block this building. But, again, that did activate the workshops at the Merchant's Guild. We do have a uh, Guildmaster there who will uh, give us twice the ownership of the building. That's an additional two coins. We like coins, certainly. Um, right. Coins, coins equal buildings. So, that's we definitely want that. All right. Um, and really we should probably, yeah, we need to settle, but we really need to, um, start buying some buildings is what we need to do. Okay. Um, right. I think that's, that's all we need to do for them. The AI, so let's roll for us. And what do we got? We have... Good grief. Two sixes. Uh, two threes. Two sixes, two threes, and a four. All right. So what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Um, well, I think... Hmm. Uh. We need to get some more of the re-roll, I think. So we, we need to get a construction hut building. So, where do we have re-roll? We have a re-roll at the Scholars Guild. So, let's go, and three would get us that. Let's go to the Scholars Guild. And let's buy one book. We are flush with books. And use the re-roll to re-roll. Um, we'll keep the one six and re-roll the rest. And there we go. That's at least usable. So we have two fives and a two. Um, All right, got plenty of those, got plenty of those, plenty of those. All right, so we need to buy a home. So something less than or equal to two. Well, five coins for that. So that'll give us another home. Great. Um, we have a building there. Well, eight's all we got there. Yeah. Um, well, I think we're going to go ahead and with the other two, spend eight, which is actually everything we have left, to use the Wizards Guild uh, workshop and place that. I'm going to place that down. That's going to give us five points and three nobility. One, two, three, nobility. And we're going to go from 25 to 30 on the point track. And that's going to move to that location. Then we're going to... Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, um, do we have, let's see here. We have towards humans or trophies. It doesn't matter who we settle, we still. Uh, let's settle the trobits. So they require wizard, artist, and merchant guild items. So there's wizard, artist, merchant guild items. So minimum of one uh, of each. So there's the one of each and a minimum of 
six total. So there's two more artists and one more merchant. So there's the six. So that card is settled. We move the home over here to our player board. We will get two additional worker meeples. Come on out, boys or girls. It's a family. Ironically, the picture has a family of three, um, but it only lets me put down two cards, so I don't know who got sent back, uh, who was not allowed in the country. Somebody wasn't. So, um, there we go. Let's pay all of our stuff here. Bang, bang, boom, 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 boom. That's going to give us six points, so that's going to take us to 36. Awesome, we're broke, but that's okay. What's important is that we now have people that we can place uh, to get some goods. No, we do not. Well, okay, so we're gonna take, let's see, we've placed two, four, five, six, seven. Seven points is all we've placed at this point. So we're going to use the six to go to the White Castle. That's going to give us three. That's going to max us out at 24 on the rep track. So we have completed half of our goal. Now we got to work on this over here. Um, so that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 18. Yeah, okay. So we have this five left. What do we want to do with a five? What do we want to do with the we can't buy anything. We could potentially sell some stuff, I suppose, just to have a bit more money for next round. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just let's just do that. Let's go. Let's go sell some stuff. So I'm going to sell two of the blacksmith oops, guild items. And I can sell it to five, so I'm going to sell three books. That's going to be two, four, five, six, seven gold. Okay, so I got a little bit of cash for next time around. That is all of my dice. Ah, remember, I forgot about this. Remember this? That gives us plus one gold per good we sell at the port. That means we sold a total of one, two, three, four, five goods. It's a whole nother five gold. So we actually made 12 gold off of that. Sweet, sweet. And it kind of sucks that I forgot that I'd done that, but sweet. Uh, okay, so now that's all of my dice. Yes, that is all of my dice. So let's do the income phase. Now, the rules do say, and I'm going to double check. I just want to make sure that I'm not lying to you. So, even though, um, well, that's not a good example. But if a if an automa, uh, if the AI has blocked a building and you have an apprentice there during the income phase, you still get that income. Okay. So the first thing I get is I'm going to get one. Merchant good because of my guild master over here. Then I have one apprentice there, so that is three gold for the scholars guild. Oops. All right, and I'm actually, I guess I should do it like this so you can see. So there's three gold for that. And then I have two here, so that's a total of four gold. Oh, I forgot I have a wizard over here, so I actually should get a wizard item, too, for that income. And that is all of the income. Cool. So, one, two, three, four. So that's a total of seven. Five. Change that into a five just to make it a little bit easier. Seven. 
Yes, we hopefully can get some buildings going in our favor. I mean, we know we can do community buildings if we need to. All right, so um, let's start up here. We're going to take that die. We're going to take that die. Take that die. We're going to remove the die from this building. That's one of ours. We're going to remove the die from the construction. That's one of ours. Workshop does nothing. White Castle, that's one of ours. Harbor, that's one of ours. It's one of the Ottoma. That's one of ours. Now we remove this building. Remember that was the community building. That comes out of the play completely. Everything slides down. And we replace the last two buildings. So what do we want? Well, artist building, that's good. We really kind of want, I don't see it. So we have a community building, which is no bueno. And we have another merchant guild building, which is also no bueno. Okay. Um, what are we gonna do over here? Well, we're going to change the quest card. This is player's move, plus one space when they advance on the nobility track. Ooh. Oh, we definitely got to do some stuff. Plus one space on the nobility track. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. We're going to round number eight. We're changing out boat. That boat has sailed. The ship has sailed. And we get a new ship. Quest is done. Done over here with our people. We've got our income. We've drawn all of our dice back we change the guilds excuse me we change the guild hall buildings and i think that's it so round number eight we gotta remember that plus one nobility it's gonna be good stuff okay a six Whew, so it's gonna take at least a six no it's gonna take a six to get a cavern tavern um and it's gonna take a one to get a building Hmm. Okay. Four. That's going to remove a community building. I'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to slide that one down just a little bit. Just as a reminder. Um, and then we have five and six. So the Merchant's Guild is blocked, but it does get activated. Again, because we have a meeple here. An uh, 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 master. Apprentice. Uh, not a master, but a guild master here. We get twice the ownership, so that's one coin, so that turns into two coins for us. Three, four, five. Goodness. And there's a, there we go. And then the other one is a six. That is the artist guild, and we do not have any workshops there. Right. Okay, so that's where we sit. Let's see what we can do. So we're going to roll. We have two, one, three. Wow, that's cool. Three ones. Four and a six. How in the world do you roll three ones? Seriously. How do you do that? Okay. Well, I'm going to say the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use one of these ones to... Go to the Blacksmith Guild. No, it's not what we want to do. Oh, shoot. Let's use a four. Actually, I take that back. Let's use a six. Use a six to go up here to the Scholar's Guild. So we can buy up to three items, and then we either get a free item or re-roll. So we're going to buy three. Give us a change back of two, one, two, three books. We will need those potentially. Um, then we're going to reroll, and I'm going to choose to reroll all these ones. What do we got? Whoa, okay, so almost a complete swing. Two sixes, 
and a two. I don't know if that's really that much better, but that's what we got. Uh, okay, well, we really needed a five. That's unfortunate. Well, maybe not. So we're gonna go to Perk the Clerk, get a modifier token, then I'm going to use that modifier token. Yep, then I'm gonna use the modifier token to change this four into a five. And then I'm gonna use this five at the guild hall. I'm gonna spend five to buy that building this building is for the Carpenter's Guild. Let's me change out one item in my uh, supply and, and on my player board for any other item. I'm going to take the artist from uh, the Artist Guild over here. I have to just double check that. Hopefully, at this point, I mean, <laughs> uh, Only when you're apprenticed in the guild can you buy workshop. Only when you have an apprentice in the guild can you buy a workshop from that guild. Oh. No, I can't do that. Shoot. Dang it. I think I screwed up on that earlier. Gosh darn it. Five. Yeah, there's my five back. Okay. So I can't do that, huh? Well, fiddlesticks. I need to get nobility. So how am I gonna get some nobility? Um, okay, well, I guess one way to get it. I don't have a two, shoot. All right, so I guess we're just gonna go for some good. So I'm gonna use a six, and I'm going to buy three uh, weapons, and I'm going to, oops, uh, for the Blacksmith Guild, there's three, one, two, three. That'll give me a total of four. Then I'm going to need a three. Dang it. I'm going to go to Burke the clerk's office, I think. So by doing that. Yeah, by doing that, I get one free modifier token and I can buy up to two more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and buy two more at one piece. So that's gonna give me two more because I'm clearly gonna need those. Um, and I got a five, I really need a three. So I'm gonna use two of those tokens immediately to change this five to a three. No, I'm not. I'll take that back. I'm gonna keep those two. I'm gonna keep that as a five. I'm gonna put the five. I can't do that because it's blocked. Shoot. Oh jeez. Uh, okay. Um gosh man. I need artist stuff. I can't get it. I, I need no bill. <laughs> I need no ability. Uh, I need a two. I mean, I could use a two just to get a building. All right, I guess I'm going to do it. I'm going to use all three of these. Change this five into a two. And use the two to go to the guild hall and spend eight. So there's five, six, seven, eight to purchase a community building. And I 
think I'm actually going to put it over here with the modifier token, and that does require one meeple from my player board to go there. Uh, but I'm going to get five points and three nobility, so that's going to take me to 35, 36, 41, and I'm going to get three nobility, one, two, three. And so what's going to happen at the end of the round, income, I'm going to get an additional birth clerk token. So that's cool. All right. That's all I can do, unfortunately. So what's next? Well, let's start the cleanup. Uh, we'll start pulling the dice off. Go ahead and take these two over here for me. That comes off. And again, I did not do the income right, but I'll do that in a second. Do, do, do. You know, the community building goes away. Over there. That's mine. These slide down. I know I'm doing this out of order. Somebody's probably screaming. It's really all. Especially when you're playing solo, it's it just kind of all blends together. All right, so well, I've got two scholar buildings, one with a reroll, one with a free item for the replacements. So there they are. Okay, income. I'm gonna get one 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 merchant guild item for the guild masters that are there. Nice. Then I'm going to get three and uh, four for, again, a total of seven income. That's going to give me a total of 12 um, as far as what I have in my little player piggy bank. <sighs> All right, that takes care of that. Didn't get any settlers, so quest cards this time players gain plus one vp when they fulfill a stone council tile so it's probably not going to do as much good going around nine switching out the boats that boat has sailed here's another boat change the buildings and we are set for the next round really really got to either buy some community buildings or Build some workshops. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get these these stars. Okay, so we have a two two plus to get a settler card. Huh. One to get a building. Three. That one goes away. And then okay, so we kind of have a little bit of a reprieve because we have two sixes. So what happens is only one of those is placed and the other one just gets set to the side. So we'll set it over here for now. So we actually have the board is a little bit less restricted this time around. So that could hopefully work in our favor. We shall see. Fortunately, as far as the guild hall goes, the building that it's going to nix is a building that we already have. So we've already got the nobility for it. Really, we, we want to do, um, well, pretty much... Scholars, carpenters, blacksmiths, artisan, but we can't do the artisan this round. Scholars and the carpenters, there are actually uh, things out here, so we may may actually end up, uh, yeah, doing that. Oh, I forgot about man, come over here. Actually, have another Earth Clerk token from my player board from last round. All right, cool. Let's roll them up. Let's see what we get. So we got uh, one, three threes. Wow. Again, the odds. And a four. Okay, so I need some higher numbers. Four. Really need a five to buy, but I don't have anybody over there. Shoot. So 
first thing we definitely got to do hmm. we really need to go somewhere where we can sell this human car that's what we need to do so let's go with a three to the blacksmith's guild go ahead and again buy two uh, black, uh, blacksmith goods and we get any one uh, other that we want and I'm actually going to take the artist guild that's going to let me settle now this card nope I can't do that yet I need to get a construction yard by a building I'm gonna place a one there that is less than or equal to one Gonna pay my five gold to get a home. I'm going to take that home and put it on my construction yard lot. Um, then I'm going to sell the humans. Um, so it requires blacksmith, artist, and scholar. So blacksmith, uh, artist, which is why I grabbed that one, and scholar. So that's three. Minimum of six. I'm actually going to use three, uh, three more blacksmith items. And remember, I can do that because that's a total of four because my um, lord that I'm playing as has that symbol up here in the corner. So, yay me. That's going to give me two more worker meeples. Boom, boom. Uh, that is going to give me a total of six points and actually it's going to give me seven because of my community building. Um, so that's going to take me from 41 to 48 again, you know, um, and we've got those out there. Cool. So that's done. we we'll place a total of four points worth at this time. Now. Now we have some workers we can use. Okay, so we would really like to buy that, but we can't. What does a three get me? What does a two get me? Two would get me a building that I would like to use, but I can't. Of course. Um, all right, so let's do a little bit of selling. So if I sold yeah, so here we're gonna, we're gonna go sell three goods over here at the boat. Put these back over here where they go right quick. Okay. So I'm going to sell one wizard item. And I can't remember now if I grabbed that last turn. I'm gonna assume I didn't. I'm gonna assume whether I did or not. If I forgot, then I just forgot. And two books. So there's the three items. That's gonna be three and four, five, six, seven gold. Okay, then let's see here. Then, yeah, then I'm gonna use my modifier token to make this three a two and place it here. It's gonna give me, uh, cost me eight. So here's 10, and boom, boom, we get back two. And I'm going to buy the scholar building. Um, that is a change any one item into any one other item. I do get three, uh, Mobility and five points. This apprentice, though, does go over there. So five points will be one, two, three, four, five. Three nobility. One, two, three. So we're creeping up slowly. Um, then, oh, you know what I didn't do? Failed to place a worker up here. I meant to do that. Um, yeah, so then that's 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm well within. Um, then you'll place the four over here in the Carpenter's Guild. You'll pay two to purchase. Well, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pay two. And purchase two Carpenter's Guild items. Those are going to come over here to my player board. And I can place up to two workers. So, question is, do I want to place two workers? I think I just want to place one worker. For now. Any advantage to me? It's really just need one, two, three. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna place one for now. Cool. All right. Oh crap! This is the oh coming on the last round. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. It's gonna be close, guys. It's gonna be so close. That's all my actions. Collecting the incomes. Let's try to do this in order now. So income, um, income from here at the workshop. I'm going to get one book. Blacksmith. I'm going to get three coins from my one apprentice. Oops, drop an extra coin. Nothing from there. We'll go ahead and do this while we're doing it. Nothing from the construction yard. Uh, Carpenter's Guild, we get uh, three from that. So, one, two, well, three, and then I'll take two from what I got. A total of five. So, there we go. Get that guy back. Then we have um, Carpenters. Then we've got the um, Wizards Guild. That's going to be one Wizard Guild good. So there we are. Um, the three comes off the harbor. One Merchant Guild good comes to me. Um, and so that is going to get rid of this merchant building. So that goes away. Um, at the guild hall, so that was merchant guild, then that was a guild hall. Boom. Boom. Everything scoops down. We draw out two more buildings. Oh, come on. Wow, oh, shoot. So we have a wizard building. And we have a community building. Oops, that goes in the wrong order. Boom, boom. We go to the artist guild where we have two workers. That's another four income. So that would take one more of those. Five. <sighs> we don't get anything. From the quest card because that's uh play a game one vp when they fulfill stone council tile we didn't do that so there you go so that is the income uh oh and the one for the community building we have here one token now let's do the rest of the cleanup so we're going to move our marker to 10. our final quest card is one gold of their, one gold, one, sorry, players receive one good of their choice per worker in their worker lot. So really a good card, but not necessarily super helpful for what we're trying to do. All right, we'll move the marker for the round, the 10, and our last boat comes on in here. There's the last boat. 
the rest of these kind of off. Boom, boom, boom. Here's the extra dice from where we rolled the doubles. And yeah, let's see what happens. I wanted to do some work this round. I have four, so four, five, or six to get a settler card. Again, a one to buy a building. Uh, four, so that gets rid of an artisan building, which really sucks because that would have been nice to have. And it's blocking the guild hall. We had a double one, so that goes away. And again, the ownership is a coin, so we're going to get two coins for that. Okay, so basically what we got to do is we got to figure out how to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, and figure out how to get seven um, gold this turn. I'm uh, sorry, we have to figure out how to get seven uh, nobility points. So here's what I'm thinking. Thinking of a number. Um, so if we could, we could get three of them here, that's three. And then we've got two more we could get there. Uh, man. Gosh, we'd almost, we'd, well, okay, well. If we can get a card up here, all right, so here, here, let's see, let's think about this. If we can get three from here, because we have somebody, that's three. Theoretically, we could maybe get one from the community building, that's five, and then we would just need two more from a settler. Now, two, 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 okay, so... For instance, uh, the Trobits or two, two, nope. So if we take these Trobits and can settle them, that's two. The problem is we don't have another house, but we may just have to sell extra goods. Huh, okay. Well, let's start by rolling our dice just to see what our options are, right? What do we got? One one, two twos, and two fours. Hmm. Okay, well, the one would theoretically give me the community building. A four would give me the trobits. Uh, so if I used a, let's see, let's see. If I use a four, I use a four to get the cavern tavern to get the trovits. Then I've got to use the one to get the house. Then I can settle them. That's going to give me two nobility. Then I can use my Burt token with this four to make it a five to buy this building, that'll be five. And I could, I could sell some stuff, but I just don't know where I'm gonna get those other two. Dang it. I don't know where I'm gonna get those other two from. If I could, if I could grab another settler, and I just don't think there's any way for me to. I'd have to have another building. That's the problem. Okay, well let's just let's just see. Maybe 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 I can figure something out. So I'm gonna use a four here, greater than or equal to, to grab these trobits. All right. Um, then I'm going to use this one to pay five to get a house. So there's a house. 
then I'm going to use um, this four that I had, use my modifier token to make it a five, and use that, the guild hall, pay five for that to buy this building for the Carpenters Guild. It's going to give me three nobility and five um, victory points. So three nobility, one, two, three, and five would be 68 victory points. Then I'm going to settle the Trobits. They require Carpenter, Blacksmith, Wizard, Merchant items. And as a minimum of one of each, so there's my one of each. Um, I mean, I need a, a minimum of eight, so there's two more, so I just need two more. And so we'll use one wood, uh, one carpenter, one blacksmith, two, four, five, six, seven, eight items. Okay, so there's my eight items. Boom, 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 boom. They are settled. There's their card. Here's their card. House goes on the lot. Uh, I'm going to get eight plus one. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. It's going to give me two more working equals, which is great. Ah. <sighs> And one, two, nobility. Man, I'm still too short. How is there any, 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 any possible way I could get to? If I could buy a building, I could. I would need a one to do that. I'm in a community building. I would need a one to do that, but I don't have a one. I don't have a modifier token. I don't have enough money to do that. Oh, man. Man, 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 man. I'm so close. Oh, that sucks. I would need... In order to get a one, I would I would need to go here to get a one. So I could go here, drop one of these twos to a one. I don't have enough money. I could sell on the boat one uh, wizard guild item and one book. So it would be the two there that can be three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. That would give me enough to build the building, but I don't have the die to go on that spot. Oh, that stinks. Oh, man. Guys, I don't think I can do it. I really don't. I don't think I can do it. Shoot. I mean, let me. Maybe there's maybe there's something I'm missing, but I don't see a way for me to do it because I can get almost there with these dice, but I can't. I just need one more dice or something, one more something to get me to where I need to go. And there's not a way for me to do that. Golly, that stinks. 
So close. We pegged out on the rep track, and we're literally only two on the nobility track. Oh, let me get this up here. Even though it's not really good. Uh, we got green L's that came out there. Again, not that it really matters because this is the last turn. But here you go. Uh, there's no... Uh, we're so close. All right, let me look through this again, but I don't think, I don't think there's a way... I don't have enough money. I could get the money, but then I don't have the die to go there. I don't have a way to change the die to go there. I can't place this building. I can't buy that building because I don't have an apprentice up there. And that would have worked. I've done the same thing, but I didn't have another apprentice up there. Ah, oh, okay, guys. I'm going to have to call it. I don't think I can do it. That stinks. That is, that is though, I will say that is the closest I've gotten. Um, you know, I, so we're going to say we lost. Unfortunately, I had a great time playing though. Uh, and again, this was solo. So hopefully this will give you an idea. I know this has been a long video, a long series, but, um, you know, I, I wanted you to see it and I wanted you to see what I was doing and what I was thinking. So hopefully that will help you guys. Um, great game. I, I love this game. Uh, the solo is awesome. That's, that's so, I was so close. Oh my gosh. I want to start all over and try again. Um, if you see any strategies, any things that I, anything that I did wrong, that I could have done better, a different strategy that I could have done, definitely drop me a line in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, just do know that all the videos, um, and I haven't decided I'll probably break this up into at least two videos, maybe probably more than that, but I shot all this at one time. So if this is in multiple videos and you see me make a mistake and then I'm making the same mistakes in the rest of the videos, just understand that that's why, uh, I will try to definitely, if you do have, see something where I screwed up on a rule, definitely leave me a timestamp and let me know what it was. I'll check it out and I will annotate it. Um, uh, you know, on the video so that you guys can see that in the future. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for subscribing. You guys are awesome. If you get a chance to play this, definitely play this. If you get a chance to purchase this, definitely purchase this. I'm the Board Game Roamer. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next video. Bye, guys.